guys. Howdy do. I'm Karen Adamski with ShamaMama.com and I'm coming to you today to show you how I make ink or paint from flower petals. Um, it's really super easy and it's a great way actually to um, preserve the life or honor the life of that flower. Okay, so the supplies that you need for this very easy project are a little bit of boiling water, you need flowers, um, you need containers. I'm gonna be using these little small cups today. You're gonna need some sort of a filter, uh, like cheesecloth or a tea filter. I'm just gonna end up using this mesh bag because um, that's just really easy for these projects. And um, if you choose, for purification purposes, you can use rubbing alcohol at the end um, or witch hazel or even vodka, something like that. Okay, so boiling water, glasses, flowers, filter, and if you want to purify it, um, some sort of alcohol. That's all you need. So let's get started. I picked today um, some irises, and this is what they look like. And I usually like to um, use these, like I picked the ones that have already kind of lived out most of their life. And I'm going to pick apart these pieces. And you're gonna see, look at my fingers here if I Smush them around. Look what's happening here. See that? Does it show up on my nose? I'm gonna look like Rudolph. Oh, it does show up. <laughs> um, this is what we're gonna be working with. So um, I like to just do most of the potion, I guess, the recipe with um, you know the petals that have already bloomed just because I feel like I'm honoring the plant that way. So you can use your fingers, it gets really messy this way. If you don't wanna do that, you can you know, chop them up with scissors, um, whatever works for you. I'm also going to um, add, I'm gonna use this one, you know, that's pretty nice and fresh. I'm gonna add that in there as well. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up, my little cup. There's many of these as I can possibly um, utilize at this point and reuse, repurpose. Containers, and now we're going to introduce boiling water. So I have water that's been boiling in this cup, and this is the most important thing. You can't really do this wrong, I don't think. There's no real right or wrong way, but I would say if there's anything to really pay attention to is not having too much water in there. So you want to just have enough water that you're barely covering the flowers that are in here. But I really want to make sure that I don't have a lot of water because the more water that's in here, the more watered down my potion is going to be. Then, you take some kind of spoon or something. So check this out already. Can you guys see that? So where's the and that's it you let that sit overnight okay so I just wanted to take a quick look to see how things are a couple of hours into it and show you that during this process it's a good idea to mush these up a little bit because you really want to get you know all of the juice and everything out of the petals that's where the color is going to come from and you can Okay, we're here the next day. Our flowers have been soaking overnight. And this is what uh, the iris looks like. It's pretty dark. Pretty dark. Okay, so we have our irises here that have been soaking overnight. And this has turned out to be a right nice um, dark ink here. So what I'm gonna do is put this into just a jar that has um, a lid because I am going to use a little bit of this today, but then I'm also going to probably save it and use it another time. So I'm going to take my filter and I'm just basically going to dump very carefully because this does stain uh, these flowers into this little jar. 
and let it all kind of drip in there. And then you can just so um, squeeze it to get all of the all of the juices out. And then what you're left with is this clump of like iris pulp. And I'm just going to toss that. Although, gosh, now how fun would that be to just take and smear all over the paper? You know, I'm going to hang on to that. The Azalea ink. Let's try this. I'm working on watercolor paper here. Well, it's pretty, uh, you know, pretty light. Pretty cool, right? So you can see with, you know, how you layer it on here, you get kind of different, different tones, but that's pretty cool. And then let's take a look at this orange flower. This is the ink that we got from that. And that's really light. Pretty interesting. So you just have to play around, you know, with different flowers and see how they how they work, how they turn out. You could even mix colors. Okay, so that was pretty fun, right? Just play around, experiment with whatever flowers you may have left over and see what comes up. So thank you for your time. I appreciate it. I hope that this has sparked some uh, creativity within you. And if you've liked this video, I invite you to come check out my website. There's lots of cool things there. That's shamamama.com. And um, I invite you to click like and follow below on this YouTube video as well. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you soon. Namaste.